The Trail is a free-to-play game developed by 22 Cans, a studio led by Peter Molyneux who is known for his work on Fable and Dungeon Keeper. With a unique artistic style and a simple premise, The Trail promises to capture feelings of adventure and exploration. However, Molyneux is infamous for his failed promises and letting gamers down, so let's find out if The Trail is worth your time and if the criticisms are true. You start off as a pioneer in a new land, walking a vast trail to a town called Eden Falls. Eden Falls is supposedly a rich center for social and economic opportunities. On this journey, you witness breathtakingly beautiful and dynamic sceneries. From the forest woods to the snowy mountains, the trail has a visually appealing world which is further enhanced from its unique art style. Every character and animal you encounter is unique, and while the trail may seem uniform, I never felt that I was walking the same path. Because of this, I was eager to find out what was at the end of my journey. The trail's music was also exceptional. Although the choice of music is repetitive, I found that it added a positive and calm ambience to the game. During my playtime, I never felt rushed and had no trouble absorbing the environment. Yet, much of this joy was hindered by the game's performance issues. Even at the lowest settings, my device had plenty of frame drops and even delays in touch response. This issue is present throughout most of the game, which really does take away from enjoying the scenery. But it should be noted that performance issues may vary depending on your phone. On the trail, your character can only move forward while being encouraged to collect items on the sides. You use these items in order to craft equipment or gain currency. This is vital for survival as your character is subjected to a stamina meter which depends on items and equipment. Once your stamina runs out, your character faints and all your items become available for other pioneers to take. These pioneers are other players and you're able to trade with one another at subsequent campsites, which act as checkpoints and a place to recharge your stamina. However, this is essentially the bulk of the gameplay which feels very repetitive and drab. Through the latter stages, I found myself entirely neglecting the system and just letting my character faint so that I can move on with the trail. Along with this repetition, microtransactions and advertisements are heavily pushed upon you during gameplay. Crafting items requires long waiting times, moving on to new stages requires heavy entrance fees, and a microtransaction store can be found at every campsite. Without paying microtransactions, players are subjected to spend many hours doing repetitive tasks in order to gain in-game currency and proceed without paying actual money. In addition, a particular character frequently runs up to you offering a free item in exchange for watching advertisements. Although viewing advertisements is totally optional, the character's presence intrudes a sense of adventure and overly exposes the game's financial intentions. On the surface, the trail is a fantastic looking game with an enticing premise. The different types of environments you encounter, beautiful landscapes, and little touches such as letters to and from family add interesting context. But the game suffers from repetitive gameplay worsened by the method in which microtransactions are presented. The game's premise may entertain those looking for a unique adventure, but only for a short while. There may be a bigger payoff in the end, however, the long trail just isn't worth the time.